What up, guys? Nico Sports Cards here coming back at you with another video. Hope everyone's doing great out there. Hope you guys are having a great week. We're going to be getting into the hitbox today. Uh, but I got to start with a couple comments on what's happening with the football playoffs. So my Eagles got my Eagles got embarrassed. Let's put it straight up. But I'll tell you what, I was not as devastated in that loss as maybe some maybe I thought I was going to be and it's because if you're an Eagles fan you've been watching the team the last six seven weeks you kind of know you knew what was coming you knew that they did not belong in the playoffs that they were going to get crushed and that's exactly what happened so it was a bummer but it, nobody was shedding there any, any tears because it wasn't really that much of a surprise what is a surprise is that Sirianni still has his job so he's going to keep his job we're going to get an offensive coordinator and a defensive coordinator um my theory is that something happened mid-season that we don't know about that had nothing to do with Sirianni and was kind of like a one-off and the owner Jeffrey Lurie was like we know it wasn't on you get a new OC and defensive coordinator let's fix this thing so I'm banking on next year but man it's been an awesome playoffs the Chiefs Bills game lived up to all expectations other than man I feel bad for the Bills I'm not really I'm not really leaning one way or another but they they cannot get over the hump there and Chiefs were a better team, but let's be honest. When it comes down to a kicker, oh my gosh. That is the worst way to lose. And I feel bad for the Packers too, right? They could have gone, gone up by a seven. The moment the Packers missed that field goal, everybody watching that game and in that stadium knew the 49ers were going to score. If you've ever watched football, you knew they were going to score. Feels terrible, but best of luck to those that are still in the playoffs. I think the Ravens look like the team to beat, but the Lions have some sort of magic mojo behind them. All right, we're going to be in the hitbox. Uh, 287 shipped. You get eight packs, all hobby packs, no retail nonsense. You know your boy Nico likes that. Uh, you get a guaranteed hit and some cool supplies. So let's get into this month's. Let's see how we do. We're going to put the guaranteed hit off to the side. Scan it for some info. Oh, by the way, I have a coupon code for you guys, NICO10. Get 10% off if you buy from the hitbox. Make sure you use my coupon, NICO10. All right, what do we got this month? This is the January box. Select Hobby, Certified Love Certified, 2023 Mosaic, Don Ross Hobby, Prestige, Bowman, uh, Chrome U, and a guaranteed hit. Cool. All right, check it out, hitboxsportscards.ca. The owner is awesome. Really, really solid dude. You should definitely message him. If you have any questions, just shoot him an email. He will get back to you right away. And fantastic service. A plus. A plus all the way around. All right. We got our penny sleeves. Love it. And we got a 55 point. Would love to get a thicker point if possible. But hey, 55 is good. And we got our packs. So we're going to do Bowman Chrome U 2023 Prestige. Do those up front. Don Russ Mosaic. Yeah, this feels like the right order. Eh, I'm going to do the certified last, although it's kind of thin. No RPA in there. And then we'll do the guaranteed hit. Oh, and I have a massive PSA submission going in. I'm going to do one of those, like, I videotape them all. I send them in. I wait a month. I do the reveal all in one video. So stay tuned. But what was a 20-card submission is now, like, 40 cards or something. They have a modern special. 15 bucks for, uh, if you remember. All right. Xavier Worthy. Makai Lemon. I won't know how to pronounce some of these last names. Braylon Allen and McMillan. I don't think any numbered cards there. I don't know how I feel about Bowman U. I don't watch college, so it's kind of... It's hard for me to get into that. All right. 2023 Prestige. And they put Aaron Rodgers on the front, so that means there's a curse on that. Whoever's on the front of 2024 Prestige, look out. Diggs. Josh Jacobs. I like the look of these cards, actually. Austin Hooper. These are quite nice. Brees Hall. I can't read that. Kalijah Cansey, rookie. We got an auto. Hmm. Is that an auto? No, it's just beat. It's just backwards. Oh, yeah. They, these are psych out, fake outs. But that is a good looking card. Give us a second. Give us a second, ladies and gents. We got tons of inserts. We've got Jenkins out of 190. I'm gonna put these over here. We'll do it like that. We'll look at that card in a second. Nick Chubb, prestigious pros, and a heroes, Jamar Chase. Is heroes? I feel like people chase that one. Speaking of chase. 
Let's see. What? Look at that. Is that on purpose? No. Hold on. This is a new... No, they are. That's how they cut the sleeves now? I get it, because you don't... No, I don't. No, I do not. I do not get it. What are you trying to do to me? Is this a... Wow. Okay, we'll do it live. We're gonna do it live. Give me a second, guys. New sleeves coming up. Someone tell me if that was how they were supposed to be printed. But they manuf is that a manufacturer's defect or did they change how penny sleeves come now? Look at this. I get it because I, I like the idea of not chipping the edge, but that does not go in smooth. Okay. What is this? Debo Samuel. Extra points. I don't know if that's rare. It looks like it is. So we're going to sleeve it up and we're going to check it out later. Because that looks pretty dope. This is the kind of stuff I'm sending in, by the way. It's sort of these one-off inserts. I hate penny sleeves. I hate them. I hate them. I think they do more damage than good. No, I shouldn't say that. They can do more damage. Those, it's When you clip it in, those edges, those edges just get me. All right. What I do is I will take, sometimes I will take uh, scissors, and if you just cut the top edge, you can slide the card in and not risk hitting the bottom, damaging the bottom. All right, here we go. Man, that was a long, that was like a long minute to do a pack. Sorry about that. Mark Rippon. Van Ness, rookie. I really like the look. These are some nice looking cards. Jalen Hall, okay, not rare then. One in every pack. See, we're learning. DJ Moore, Luke Keekley out of 299. Yeah, we're learning. Looks like one in every pack. Bill Romanowski. I like the inserts, but they overdo it. There's nothing, when you get three inserts in every pack, like Donruss is gonna do the same thing. When you get three inserts in every pack, they're just not as special. Here we go. Jalen Waddle, Jordan Love. Looks like the real deal though, right? Marvin Mims, that's my guy. Michael Parsons, de definitely not my guy. Action All Pros, that's a nice card. I will admit. Patty Mahomes, MVP. That's going in a team bag. Anybody interested, hit me up. Jalen Ramsey. Just shoot me a uh, IG or at Nico underscore sports cards on Instagram or Nico sports cards at gmail.com if you want a team bag. All right, T. Higgins. Sorry, I'm trying to speed up a little bit. Dak Prescott, Hassan Reddick. We got a Davis rookie. Stefan Diggs. Everything's stuck. See what I mean about the inserts? Jackson Smith, yeah, he's going to be legit. Stephon Diggs and a TJ Watt out of 90. Looks like orange. Just too many inserts. I like it. I like it when it's mostly base. I know a lot of people throw the base away. I, you know, I admit it, I throw most of my base away. But when there's three inserts, they're just not, they're just not doing it for me. Like here, we're going to get maybe two. And no color in the in the Mosaic pack, wow. Patty Mahomes, Dallas Goddard, Bosa, Kirk Cousins, CJ Stroud, nice NFL debut. Take that. So that's not his main rookie in Mosaic. I know it has the rookie logo, but it's the NFL debut. Not worth as much. All right, where are we? Mike Evans, National Pride, Herbert. Jack Campbell, and an Aiden O'Connell. Okay. So is Aiden, who's the best rookie, 2023 rookie that signed for Panini? Was it Aiden O'Connell? What's the best auto you can pull? Because you can't pull any of the top 10. I don't think they signed any of them. Oh, no, they got um, Anthony Richardson. I've already forgot his name. Is it Anthony Richards or Anthony Richardson? Ed Oliver, rookie. Ed Reed, Brady, Silver. There we go. That is nice. 
Not an easy pull to pull a Brady Silver out of Select. Or I guess do you call it Prism? Nick Bosa, Rookie Selections, and a Jarvis Landry. The Brady, the Brady Silver is the best card I've gotten so far. No autos. No hits. Thank goodness for the guaranteed hit. All right, what do we got? Do we have anything? Ooh, we got a hit. Okay. It looks to me like it's just going to be a jersey. Ben Roethlisberger. Let's just get these out of the way. Damian Pierce. Keep it on the Texans, though. Keep it on the Texans. Well, that answers that question. Not bad, right? He's not a terrible player at a 399. I don't like these new generations. Certified, you can do better. They're not working. You've been using them since 20, as far as I can remember, 2017. And people don't like them. I mean, maybe some do, but I see them in dollar boxes all the time just sitting around. You can buy them. They're like, you can get. The C.J. Stroud version of this is like $35. That tells you everything you need to know. It's a hit of the most promising rookie probably since Patrick Mahomes, and it's a $35 card. People don't like the new generations. Get rid of, get rid of it. All right. Let's do this. Guaranteed hit time. Let's see what we got. Oh, that is nice. Justin Herbert. Four color out of 50. Panini black. It's a nice card. Really nice looking card. It's probably my best Herbert card. I don't have any of his uh, his autos. Nothing like high grade. Sweet. I just got my best Herbert card. I'm officially long Herbert. All right. That is all I got for you guys. Check him out. Hit box sports cards. They won't let you down. Uh, next week we got the boom box and, uh, good luck to all of you that still have teams in the playoffs. In the meantime, as always, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Please have a great day. But for now, I'm out. Peace.